YouTube, what up? Boy, Big Reed here back live with another one. But no days off. All right, everybody. Y'all can see we got the pups out. Also, we got some of the duck dogs out. And some of uh, the little, well, Izzy and Twix. I mean, they pups too, but they, 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 they bigger. They bigger pups. But um, we out just doing some training. I mean, pretty much doing um, I guess what you would refer to as pet training. All right, pretty much this video is gonna be show y'all how I start my pups off and get them to follow me before we go on those trail walks. Y'all can see I have little areas in my field that I have cut out, All right? We got tall grass. We got trees over here. We have a clearing right here. There's also a clearing in the middle too, also. So, I pretty much I walk back and forth, you know what I'm saying? I walk up and down, back and forth. The big dogs know to follow me. So, I use the adult dogs to train the pups because Pretty much with dogs is monkey see monkey do. Thor! So, this is how I get them to follow me once we're in the woods. This is how I get them to listen to my commands. Let's go! It's by doing it on these trails. Well, these little clearings that I've cut out. Let me see. We always got stragglers. But they learn from pretty much mimicking the adult dogs. So that's to the person that asked that question. I don't remember who, but I remember someone asked me, how do I get my dog to do that? But also my dogs are bred to have good temperaments. I'm on, I go back and watch videos. I got I'm on walks with dogs that are coming into heat and my male dogs aren't growling at each other, aren't trying to kill each other, none of that. They just hang, he teaching me. That's, that's, this is something that's happened. He He's not gonna hurt him. He, he's just, he's claimed that ball. And he's letting him know, okay, this is my ball. Go get your own. So it's pretty much like a respect thing. Like you don't want nobody sticking. Like, it's some joy you just wouldn't want somebody coming up taking it. So, this is how we do this, you guys. Come on, Thor. Come on, Rob. Come on, Hank. Let's go. See, we got that one now. She's over there by herself. But she will learn that she has to follow the pack. See, because now she's by herself. Let's go. See, now she's coming. Let's go. But this is my training method, guys. I mean, another topic um I wanted to touch on was working line work a working line versus the show line all right i'm just really gonna touch on this we're gonna get further into it later on but like i guess i've been doing research and like i told you guys i'm pretty much trying to develop a working line style american bully because if you guys y'all want to research it also along with me do your research working working line dogs tend to be more healthier than show line dogs because normally show line dogs are bred for looks. And as you know, in the American Bully, like I touched on yesterday, that includes a lot of mass, which is not healthy. <coughs> I mean, I, and like I told y'all before, y'all know the um, ABKC just recently changed the standard of the American Bully to, they're going back to a more extreme style dog which carries a lot more mass. That is, you know, regardless of what anybody tells you, you it's just like a bodybuilder. 
You know what I'm saying? All that mass is not healthy. It, it's, it's hard on your circulatory system, you know what I'm saying, and your respiratory system. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see them guys up there. If y'all follow bodybuilder, you see a lot of them up on stage just posing and flexing, and they're out of breath. Same thing with these dogs in the show ring. They're in the temperature control room just doing a couple laps around the ring, and half of them can't even breathe. I mean, half, well, they start panting, they're out of breath already just by that little bit of movement. It's because of all of that mass. So, like I said, I'm leaning more towards um, developing a working line style of American Bully. I mean, you're still going to get the breed tight, which... It's the look. You're still going to have the look. Still going to have the mass. But like I said, I'm trying to find that balance between mass and athleticism. So I don't want to dog most, most, mostly within the American bully community. A lot of these dogs, they look good. Not saying that, 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 that the look's not there, but most of these dogs, they're overdone, which means they, they, like, they have too much mass, they, too much mass and even though the dog might seem healthy on the outside, you gotta think about what's going on the inside with its organs and stuff. Like I said, cause all that mass is not good. Y'all understand the more muscle you have, the more oxygen it takes your body to, to, to pretty much, to, pretty much to maintain it. I said, I just, we just pretty much just not touching on that topic, you guys. Like I said, I'm going to continue on. I got more research to do on it. You know what I'm saying? Figuring out what I'm going to do. But I know some guy, well, one of the one, um, guys in the comment section asked what um, bloodlines am I using? Well, Thor's old school razor edge and Gotti. Um, these pups off of Pepper and Jug. Um, check out Red Beast, Red Beast Kennels. Here on Instagram is his blood, which is a lot of red dog blood, Camelot, Peterson, Chevy. You know what I'm saying? That blood and some Viet Short. Y'all know Jug. Jug was um, Viet Short and some old school Mulliston blood. And I do have a little bit of Bossy blood because Bossy dogs tend to be a little bit more on the lean athletic side of things. Like I said, my dog will carry, like I said, I'm more working towards, like I said, an athletic style XL. Well, classic, classic style XL. So I read the setting on the classic. The classic is a little bit, a little leaner, more athletic style standard. And to the guy that made the comment on the last video, I said, Hank is 120 pounds, man. Once I get a chance, I got a, I got a scale in my arm. Um, in my weapon room, I will put him on the scale and I will film him and show he's 120 pounds, man. He's leaned out. He's not fat. I have, I have to understand a lot of these guys in these forums on YouTube and these pictures, they pad their stats when they come to these dogs. It's just to make it sound good. I don't know what it is with the XL community and weight trying to make the dog seem like he's humongous. And if you know dogs, you can look at the dog and tell if that's a 140, 150 pound dog. You know what I mean? And most of them, they are not. They just, it just, it just something to get them likes and views on a YouTube channel. I mean, you see, you ever, if you ever put your hands on a 140, 150 pound dog, you will remember that dog. I mean, a true 140, 150 pound dog. But, I said, just wanted to stop in, man, make a quick video for the day. Um, so we got, I still got work to do right here, guys. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to get y'all as much content as I possibly can get. This spike, you guys. This is, this is, this, he was the runt. That was the runt in those pictures. And this is Chop. This little Chop, but the Chop is a, <laughs> Chop's a bully. <laughs>
But anyways, you guys, we gonna get out of here, man. It's getting dark. We gonna um, get these guys put up for the night. And I'm gonna get in the house and get me something to eat. But until the next video. Peace.